Several victims are in the hospital. At least two of them are in the fight for their lives. CBS 4's Hank Tester live at Kendall Regional Medical Center with the latest on that. Hank. Yeah, Rick, and those two remain in critical condition tonight. The eight other, they're really, really hurting in this hospital here on trauma alert. Most of the afternoon, the mission saving lives. Let's take a look. There were the walking wounded, lucky with a little help, on the way to a hospital emergency care. Tons of concrete falling on vehicles, crushing and pancaking cars, trucks, victims. Victims transported, rushed into surgery. Kendall received 10 level one trauma patients from the bridge collapse. One of the patients arrived in cardiac arrest. Uh, his heart was restarted and he went emergently to the operating room. He is currently in critical condition in the intensive care unit with head and chest injuries. Another patient arrived in coma with severe extremity injuries, and he is currently in the operating room with neurosurgery and orthopedic surgery. He remains in critical condition. Eight other patients were admitted to the hospital with their traumatic injuries, but are in stable condition. As expected, due to the nature of the collapse, lots of broken bones. Uh, there's a variety of injuries with eight patients, everything from bruises and abrasions all the way to broken bones. Uh, but they're all in stable condition and no severe brain injuries. Can you tell us anything? Not talking and in a huge hurry, likely back to the bridge collapse. No word on exactly who's in the hospital, whether they're construction workers or those who are in cars, crushed cars or trucks. I would say the age range is 20 to 50. As luck would have it, the collapse scene at FIU on Southwest 8th Street. It's just down the turnpike a bit to Bird Road, the location of Kendall Regional Medical Center. One of the factors that the Department of Health follows is the travel time for the fire rescue team. They like to have it as short as possible for the critical patients. So we happen to be close by, and that worked out. Thursday evening, Governor Rick Scott pays a visit. They, um, you know, they have family with them, and their family is caring for them. This hospital is caring for them. They have, they have nurses and doctors that are, that are, on, you know, with them around the clock. Well, the governor did confirm that uh, in the hospital, a mix of those who are in the cars and those construction workers who are on the bridge. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.